Hi, I'm Brian Schultz. I have with me today the F750 produce quality meter. I'm going to give you a basic overview of the instrument. Um, this is a sneak peek at something that's still in development, but as you can see, we have functional prototype that I'd love to go over with you now. To begin, we press the green power button to turn the F750 on. Immediately, we're presented with a simple list that has three options. Select model, browse records, and set up instrument. We use the navigation keys to scroll right into menus. Under the select model menu, we have a list of the models that are pre-programmed on the F750. Again, using the directional keys, we simply select the model that we'd like to use and then navigate back to the main menu. We've now loaded the Apple model into the F750, and as you can see, we have some apples handy. To take a measurement, simply hold the apple onto the front of the F750 and press the blue thumb button. As soon as the measurement's made, the instrument displays the data that was recorded and calculated. Here you can see the dry matter score for this apple, along with the chlorophyll index score and the TSS score. To take another measurement, just place another apple on the top of the F750 and press that same thumb button. We'll do it one more time. Again, I'm just pressing the thumb button. So we've recorded three measurements. All of these have been stored in the device. Pressing any key leaves the screen that it shows you when it takes a measurement. If we'd like to view the, those records again, we just scroll down to Browse Records and then scroll into that menu. Here we're presented with a list of all the files on the device. If we scroll to the right, we're shown the same su data summary screen for that record. Here we can actually press down to scroll to the next record, or up to scroll to the previous. Pressing the right arrow key allows us to view the, uh, another menu with details about the measurement. The first option is View Spectra. This would allow us to view the actual spectra that was recorded and used to calculate the data. We also have the ability to view the file details, the name, what model was used, when it was saved, and how large it is. In addition, we have the ability to rename files or delete them. Another common feature that users might see themselves using on a daily basis is setting the record prefix. As you can see in the records menu, each file is assigned a particular file prefix, and then there's a number that increments that follows the prefix. So to do that, we would go to Setup Instrument, Record Prefix, and we can here either enter a completely new prefix or select a recently used prefix. Inside this setup instrument menu, we're given a number of other options. You can set the date and time, view the status of the GPS receiver, the longitude, latitude, satellites in view, and whether there's a lock acquired. We also have the ability to change the language on the device. Currently, it's set to English. Scrolling to Portuguese. And suddenly, we're using the instrument in a different language. Thanks for spending a few moments familiarizing yourself with our new F750 Produce Quality Meter. We hope to be able to share new information with you as our development continues and look forward to releasing this product as soon as possible.